All right, welcome to your March 8th Sandbox meeting. Dims, I'll pass to you. Uh, thank you. So today we start the conversation around uh, Ego and Marble Run. Um, those uh, two are a pair of projects. Um, in, the Ego is about uh, confidential apps. Uh, and Marble Run is a control plane for confidential computing, but we have three uh, projects in the same space. The third one is the confidential containers, which we talked about last time. And, uh, you know, uh, Justin, uh, do you want to say, uh, uh, you know, say something about uh, what information we got from them? Yeah, so I had an informal discussion with um, Confidential Commission Consortium. Um, they, I think that they would be interested in having a more formal full discussion about this, but they, um, the feeling was the confidential containers was appropriate as potentially as a CNCF project. The other two, um, much less clear whether they really fit into our space. Um, and I think, but the other issue they raised was that right now it's difficult to put these projects into production because um, you can't generally run them on your own hardware and the uh, there's limited hardware available in the cloud in in various places in restricted ways um and so from our kind of project maturity point of view it's not clear that at the moment they could move to incubation in any kind of foreseeable future because people would not be able to adopt them so they might kind of be they might become stuck in the sandbox for some unforeseeable period of time Erin, uh, you had some thoughts? No, okay. Uh, anybody else uh, had an opinion on Ego and Marble Run? I, I do have some thoughts. I could yeah. not figure out how to unmute because Zoom changed the thing for me. Um, yes, I, I think in past discussions that we had had uh, previously that we didn't really have a path to the next uh, level to incubation or graduation for these projects. So. Um, at this time, I think it's it's a no until we have a better feeling for how we would support and how that would enhance the ecosystem. Okay, um, so uh, do we want to take a vote on this, uh, uh, Amy? It sounds like you've reached consensus, so yes. Go ahead and um, uh, votes for... Uh, both do we together. want to do all three? Actually, that's a question. Uh, no, let's do for uh, Ego and Marble Run, please. Okay. All right. All right, vote is open. Uh, so for the new members, it's usual plus one, zero, minus one. All right, not included, and we can move on. Thank you. Is the next one confidential computing? Yes, let's wrap that up before uh, we go any further. So based on the uh, talk, uh, Justin, you had with confidential com container, confidential computing containers, I, I, I forget which one is which. Uh, so let's open the vote for that. Vote is open, go ahead. Thank you. And the vote passes. Thank you much. Uh, thank you. Uh, we've got some. I think we should be well. clear to them that yes. the uh, incubation may be potentially difficult for them to reach, and just let them know that. Yeah. Plus one to adding the caveat. All right. Um. I think we can move on to our reapplications. Uh, can you call them out, Amy, please? I have FabEdge, I have Lagoon, and I have Conveyor. And yeah, let me go find FabEdge. Uh, I you. know how to find Conveyor because it's the last one. So uh, okay, let's take that one first then. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is a resubmission. Uh, we got some feedback from app delivery folks. Um, 
Now, what did they change? That's a question. Yeah, I, if I remember right, we were saying that it feels like there's too many projects, uh, sub projects, uh, you know, that are sometimes not related to each other. Uh, that was one concern that we had. The other concern we had was, um, what was it? Uh, yeah, uh, OpenShift focused, I guess, was the other one that we were talking about. Um, do we know where exactly the feedback was? Was it in an email? I think it, there was there was also a recap during the public meeting from the SIGAP delivery. Okay. First the email from us and then, yeah, and then the recap. Uh, do you remember what it was? No. <laughs> okay. It's fine. I think basically they said plus one and they, did, they didn't say no. Um, so uh, for the new folks, uh, do you have any questions about this one? Um, because the rest of us have gone through it once. Uh, you said something about OpenShift in here and it being tied to OpenShift. Yes. Uh, can you expand on that a little bit? Yes, uh, so if you dig into the individual projects, there are four big projects in, in there. Um, if you look at the install uh, or uh, how to run kind of thing, uh, all of the, most of them uh, had a requirement of OpenShift being there uh, and being able to run on OpenShift rather than uh, uh, brand vanilla Kubernetes. There is still a lot of OpenShift within the repository for the majority Correct. of the projects. Correct, yes. And there isn't that much for Kubernetes by comparison. It's not like an even 50-50. Right, and uh, this, this was a project that was started around uh, lift and shift of existing workloads to uh, OpenShift. Uh, that's why, um, you know, based on the history, that was the that's why it is the way it is. Richie, any questions? What is the immediate value or what is the perceived value that we're gonna get out of this is my question. Yeah, so the perceived value here is um, you know, there's lots of workloads uh, running still, which are not in cloud. Uh, this uh, is a project that will help move some of those workloads into the cloud. And by cloud, I mean here, uh, Kubernetes-based, uh, you know, system. Well, I mean, it's not gonna move them into Kubernetes, it'll move them into OpenShift. And, um, and it re obviously requires some specific things in OpenShift that aren't general things you can install into your Kubernetes cluster. Um, yeah, that is the so problem. Yeah, that, that, I mean, it raises the question uh, for distros that have their own sets of APIs that are not part of the compliant Kubernetes and they specifically target just that distro. Um, do we want projects like that in the CNCF that are just known to really target a particular distro's specific APIs? I think, yeah, as long as the intention, yeah. go ahead, Dems. Yeah, I don't remember having, uh, you know, uh, allowed any anything like this before, um, but it's Me, sandbox, right? One analogy I could kind of think of is if you remember Cloud Custodian, I think it initially only targeted like AWS, right? And they have evolved over time to support other clouds and quote unquote platforms. I, I could see something like this where maybe they started with OpenShift due to business needs or whatever. Um, and as long as their intention is to support different distros, different platforms, then I think it's fine. It doesn't like raise any red flags that in our charter, basically one of the values is all about supporting different, you know, platforms and environments. And as long as they stick to that, I, I think that's okay. It's an early stage uh, project. 
Okay, if there are no further questions, uh, we can take a vote. Uh, I, I expect this to be mixed uh, and let's see if there is support to get them in. Just a follow up to what just Chris just said. I, um, looking at their roadmap, um, they talk about supporting OpenStack um, and they talk about a journey to, uh, towards Kubernetes, but not like into full plain Kubernetes. So maybe this would be something to either ask them or to make a condition of any future um, incubation status um, to, to basically require a, a statement in the roadmap that yes, they're actually going to support vanilla Kubernetes. Because OpenStack smells like not bad, but weird if it's, if it's coming before native uh, Kubernetes. I didn't get that sense. Which uh, repo are you looking at uh, for the OpenStack, uh, Richie? Um, the um, their uh, roadmap um, presentation. I linked it. Pages seven and eight. Yeah, that is for one of the projects that they have, four projects that they have. Um, it is, but it still smells weird. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks for pointing that out. Um, so based on this information, we can take a vote. Well, am I missing something? Because I don't see them saying general um, Kubernetes support is in their plan right now. Uh, did I miss that? Point. No, no, that's the point. Like you see OpenStack, but you don't see generic vanilla Kubernetes, and that just smells weird. So okay. under Forklift, the documentation talks about migration to Kubevert on their site, but that is it, and it doesn't match up with the roadmap. So there is a clear disconnect in several of these projects. So one other thing, uh, why we are looking at, uh, why we see OpenStack there is probably because they have a workload that is running on OpenStack that can be moved using cube, moved into a Kubevert environment. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Uh, they're not trying to, the support would be like, the from component would be from OpenStack into Kubernetes. So, because it's forklift, right? Like that, that, that's what makes sense to me. From, from OpenStack right? so to OpenShift, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the project for the virtual machines inside the Camille, right? So it makes sense that they mention it from the OpenStack right. to Kubert, yeah. not like to Kubernetes, but it implied. Right, if we see something else in like Crane or uh, the other three ones, then it would be of concern to me. Yeah. Okay, once, twice. Okay. Uh, just to be clear, are we voting on asking or are we voting on? on We're voting on acceptance with the asking um, for condition of incubation. Okay. So if we get a positive reply, then I'm, I'm fine. No, no, no. Hang on. Uh, this is inclusion into sandbox. And then if they're going to move to incubation, then we have to be able to have that requirement for um, supporting vanilla Kubernetes. Correct. Thank you. Is there a strong reason not to ask them before? Because uh, it's like, reapplication, and we're going to have to <laughs> go ahead, Dim. Yeah, it's the carrot and stick, right? Like so, we kind of like get them into our fold. Show there is a plenty of things that need they need to take care of. We want them to take care of those kinds of things and get new people on board, and then start working on uh, things like this, Richie. Okay. Okay. Sorry, still getting. Oh, no, 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 please ask any, uh, interrupt any time. Uh, 
Okay, so... Give me a bit in here that's not helpful. <laughs> This is this is good. Uh, so it's they fine. didn't make it. I am seeing four um now in favor. I am I have two against and two abstain. I believe I'm missing Dave. Dave, are you there? Yeah, I'm on my phone, so I was typing into chat. I want to copy and paste the thing that Matt said. Uh, I want to actually see Kubernetes support from the roadmap, but it's taking me too long to type it into my phone. Okay, I will <laughs> oh, count that verbal vote that. as yeah. a negative, and there are three of those. So this does not pass. Um, we'll go back to them with uh, what yeah. we're looking for. All right. So we, we give them the feedback that we want strong support for generic Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. uh, and what what else was there? Um, that, I think that let's was, start with that. Yeah, let's start with yeah. that and see what else happens. Right. And then come back to us when they have it, you know. I don't know whether they, we sh they should come back to us um, when they update their roadmap or when they actually do it. Good. The updated roadmap is good enough for, for for sandbox seems completely reasonable it's like we didn't ask cloud custodian to go support another cloud right. before they accepted okay so for all the people who did minus one and zero will will that be enough uh for you to think about next time okay yes okay thank you okay uh so line that's 11. A amy line 11 that. will give you fab edge fab edge yeah, okay. So uh, some is Fabage was another thing that we talked about last time. So summary for, for the new folks is, um, the, the question here about, is, so Fabage says that it's a Kubernetes CNI, uh, but the traditional definition of a, a CNI, it, it doesn't conform to that. Because it says that um, you should have another CNI by default and this will be an additional CNI for just edge computing um, scenarios. Uh, so we were like confused uh, what, what it actually does or what it actually wants to do. Um, so we, we took it back to them. I don't know if you got feedback. Uh, was there a comment or something? Pre-application. Don't see them adding any updates here. So, for clarification, the pre -app, previous application is line number 39 on the um, previous application is not included. If you wanted to be able to take a look at like what was previously said. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, I so the okay, so they added a lot more information this time um, than what they had last time. That that's what I can see. They have flushed out more of their application. So um Given this new information, it says it works as a Kubernetes CNI. So serves the project, I guess, uh, which are all under CNCF. Okay, that sounds decent. Um, closely working with the different communities. Okay, um, similar projects. Kubech, Kubemesh, HVPN, MSM. Okay, uh, so the TLDR seems to be that um, they are already working hard with these other CNCF projects. Um, and how are they doing in terms of, does anybody else have any observations? Uh, 
warp stars. Force. Oof. Okay. Okay. Um, Do we have any idea why their um, contributions have all dropped off? No, I don't. Let's check the date here. See, twelve twenty-eight. So they they applied and then they stopped. I guess. Uh, some of that period is Chinese New Year. Right. So they have a decent set of people, smallish, working on things, and they are working with existing communities. So that, that's basically the TLDR here. And they are working on a new use case uh, where we don't, we don't have too many things at the networking side of things. I mean, yeah. I we, we have a lot of, I mean, we have a lot of projects on the Kubernetes at the edge space, which I think is good because it's not a, a well understood space as there's a lot of experimentation to do and there's a lot of interest in it. So it seems kind of reasonable to me. Um, I mean, at some point, these, these projects are going to have to turn into, you know, they're going to have to get some agreement on what 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 is what has been successful and what are the right ways to do this thing but it's still early at this point i think yeah i agree and i think the cni is pretty critical to the cohesiveness of running it end to end from edge into a more centralized infrastructure and how that would work and whether or not it scales down to that size effectively and still is feature rich enough so i think we'll probably end up seeing more projects in this space in the coming year Okay, um, ready for work then? Yeah, let's do it. The uh, vote is open, one. and I know we're nearly at time. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, everyone. All right, thank you very much.